morning everyone i'm back today uh, i'm not sure what day this video is going up but yep anyways um so it's a sunny day today uh, but today i've got quite a special video uh nice fun one for you i'm actually going to show you how to drive the manitou um today i'm going to show you how to drive the new one but the old one's exactly the same to be honest um just a few little differences but yep this is the new manitou uh it's a 2019 uh, we've had it since new, so it's about a year and a half, uh, age-wise. But, yeah. So that's our Mani 2. Uh, let's show you how to drive it, then. Um, so if I just open the door. It's a bit uh, dirty inside at the moment, but, uh, yeah. Now, with this new one, uh, to start the engine, you have to be sat in the seat. Um... So yeah, I've just turned the key there, just down there. So yeah, this is inside. Um, so these are the dials here. Just showed you speed there, uh, time. So right now it's half five, um, 16 degrees. So quite warm um, considering the weather. But yep, there's your revs and parking brake and stuff. Um, fuel, just on the bottom there, add blue uh, temperature. So yep, this one has add blue, um, which is different to the old one that doesn't have add blue. I think the only tractors we have that have add blue are the Mani 2, the new Mani 2 and the Puma. I think they're the only ones. Uh, but yep, over here you've got your aircon controls and stuff. So just the button for the aircon there and then temperature and stuff there. But um, this is what's uh, different to a tractor. You've got your joystick here. So backwards um, brings the arm up, just see there. Um, forward puts the arm down. And now if you bring it in that way, that kind of curls the bucket up, just like that, and then push it away. Just curls the bucket down like that. Um, over here, um, the gearbox on this one's actually automatic um, the other one's not um, but you can manually uh, select gears on this one if you want it's just this button here then on this screen it just uh, shows you the gears there so I can just put it in gear 2 now if I press that in um, and take the handbrake off down here if I just go forwards and rev it up a bit it'll stay in gear 2 it won't um, uh, change up when I rev it up a bit but yeah so on a Mani 2 uh, forwards and backwards is just this red button here so push it forward it'll uh, ease forwards there put it in the middle neutral then push it back and it'll go back uh, you don't need a clutch or anything on telehandlers so that's good um, here that button there that just pushes the boom out when you push it that way uh, pull it back pulls the boom in uh, this one here, top one, that takes the pins out, so when you want to take the bucket off and stuff, oh, we're rolling, just put the handbrake on. So, yep, that takes the pins out, um, so you can take the bucket off. That button there disables the joystick, so say you're going down the road or something and you don't really want the joystick to be activated, uh, you can just press that and then it won't do anything. Just press it in there, there, and then it'll say on the screen that it's disabled. But yeah, and then press it again, it comes undone. Beacon lights, just there. So if I go outside now, they should be on. Yep, probably can't see, it's quite bright today, but yeah. Beacon lights just flashing there. So I'll just turn it off again. And hazard lights and stuff, obviously. Uh, indicators down here. Can't see for the wheel. Indicators, lights, stuff like that. Wipers, that's just like a car and other tractors really. Uh, you've got a nice USB uh, port down here where you can plug things in. And a nice uh, storage thing down there. So yep, yeah, I think I'll uh, take it for a drive. Now this one actually does have a reverse fan. Uh, I think it's an auto reverse fan. Oh, I need to put the gears back in automatic. Um, just there on the screen, so I'll twist it down to automatic there. Press OK and that will change itself up. Also shows you the degrees the booms at and the uh, hours. So it's on 1167.7 hours at the moment. So that's not too bad. Um, I'm just 
thinking where I can prop the camera up because I want you to be able to see properly and I haven't really got a suction cup on me at the moment. Hopefully you can see alright there. Just want you to be able to see the controls and stuff. But yeah, so I'm just putting the bucket down now and stuff. It's bouncing you about a bit, hold on. That'll have to do, I'm afraid. Oh, you've fallen off, hold on. I'll have to find a better spot. Ah, here. There's a nice grab handle. Um, you just need to put it up properly. Right, hopefully that'll stay now and you should be able to see the controls and stuff a bit better. But yep, yeah, I don't know if you heard that then, uh, before you fell off, but yep. Yeah, I revved it up uh, a bit and it uh, changed itself up, you'll hear it again now. There. There. So it's got six gears, this one. Um, I think manually you can only change it up to fifth. Um, but yeah, it's got six gears, uh, three reverse gears I think, so it starts off in second then you shift it up to third, um, what else, um, yep, telehandler's all wheel steering obviously, and I'm not actually sure how you change it to front wheel steering, crab steering on this one, oh well, but yeah, telehandler's are all wheel steering so it's something to get used to uh, after you've been driving tractors such a long time radio down there as well but yeah back that puts the boom up you can see and then I've showed you that before but yeah yeah and then when we park it we tend to just there uh, put the bucket on the floor I'll show you how, actually how we take the bucket off uh, that'd be nice to see so I'll just get outside now and show you the pins and stuff so yeah, hopefully you can hear me with this here, uh, that's the pin, that's the locking pin, uh, that locks the bucket into place so it doesn't fall off, um, so I'll just show you now how we take it on and off, um, so what we usually do uh, is we extend the boom out a little bit, just so we can see what we're doing, and then we just pull back on this. So that's the pins come out now. Let me just show you that outside. All right, here we are. See now, they're not in there. They've actually retracted back here. Um, so yep, yeah, then we just put the bucket on the floor and simply reverse back. And then we do the opposite for uh, putting it on. See now the bucket will just come off. I need to take the handbrake off. But yep, yeah, see the bucket's about to come off now. There we go, bucket's off, and then we just put it back on here. So this is a Manitou headstock, um, I think JCB and Merlot all have different ones. I'm trying to do this one-handed, but yep, I think they all have different headstocks uh, to attach different types of implements. So yep, have it on, then we just turn the key off, there's the radio just there. So I'll just show you around the outside now. Um, I do, oh, I never showed you the window. What I do like about this one though, I think I said it in the machinery tour, uh, this window here. Oh, God. Oh, I've annoyed myself now. I'll show you it going up and down. It's going to annoy me if I don't show you, but yeah, forward, see, that just puts the window down. So now I can uh, put my hand out outside and stuff. So on a hot day you might want the window open but yeah it's just easier than there having that side door on the older one but yep i do like the design of the monitor i like the gray door uh, with the red paint which matches the uh, the gray door matches the wheels that's the class just there but yeah i think it's a really nice telehandler and uh i definitely rec uh, recommend one. Uh, this one's about mid-range, I think. PS Plus, so not sure yet. So it's got good uh, visibility and stuff. 
Um, the old one's not got great visibility, but this one has, which I like. Um, yeah. So we use this one mainly for just loading up the feeder wagon there. Uh, you've seen that before though on the uh, feeding video. But yep, that's what we use this one for. And we use the old one for mucking out and stuff. Um, yeah. So that's what we use them for. And uh, hope you enjoyed this video. It's a bit shorter. Um, but now you know how we drive a Manitou telehandler. Um, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like. Uh, I appreciate the likes and comments. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. So yeah, we're on the journey to 200 subscribers. So thanks for watching. I'll uh, see you next time.